I'm on the way to the Long Men Grottoes. Not the original ones, there are other ones in Hainan, which are far more historic. But these were built in 1781, I believe, by a man named Wu Lai Ching. He was a monk, a Buddhist monk. He built it by himself. Well, not exactly. He started it. And then just because of his sheer will, that drew more people in. And it took them in total 72 years to finish. I think we can get a cable car up to it and go take a look. Whew. It's very warm today. So you can get a can get a cable car up the hill, I think. I don't know if it goes to the grottoes though or not. Here we have the park the Xiguang Pavilion, the A Wei Gallery. That can't be the artist. I A Wei. Maybe it is. I think he spoke out though very strongly against the government in China, so I doubt it. Where is the where's the cave? Here's the Dragon Gate. That's actually I think where the, the grottoes are, but let's see. Oh, okay. okay. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Xie Xie. Oh, they were really friendly. <laughs> nice. Okay. So before five o'clock, you have to be back. Here we have the security. Light security. And here we have the cable cars. Oh, there's ski cars. Okay. up into these hills which is where the grottos are carved out of and then we overlook this beautiful lake this massive enormous lake almost like a mini mini sea in itself yeah all right so it doesn't look like it gets to the top to where i was hoping it would go but that's okay i'm also feeling a little bit sunburned so I'm going to use this a lot more today. You're going to see me wrapped up like I'm in the Sahara. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so actually there is a cableway up to up to the grottoes. So I'm going to see if I can get that. But first, first I'm going to take a look at that. This beautiful little building at the top of this hill. All these good luck, good luck wishes. Here we have a warrior. There's maybe not a warrior. It's it's an artist, it's a painter. But he doesn't look too happy. Would you believe? Look at this. <laughs> what is the crack? Why, in like so random a place, they have the NBA players? I don't know, that's happened several times. You could go out on this reflective surface and take a photograph of yourself with the beautiful view of Kunming City in the background massive city, also known as Civilized Kunming. It's really commercialized, but in a nice way. I actually really like this. All the buildings have these beautiful, old, <laughs> beautiful again, the old school architecture. Even shops that are selling just complete tack have a gorgeous, gorgeous design. cable car now on the way up chilling out relaxing all cool shooting some people that was my phone oh. uh, every time I hear a bang I think it's my phone hopefully it's not a premonition we're gonna get to a nice view I'm gonna cover my face though because it is very warm and it's very high altitude Kunming is about 1,900 meters above sea level which is higher than any mountain in Ireland and higher than actually it's almost double the height of any mountain in Ireland and it's higher than any mountain in the United Kingdom. I think Snowdonia, I don't know the name for it now, I know they renamed it to the Welsh name, fair play, but it's I think 1,600 meters, could be wrong, 1,300, around that, and Kunming is almost 2,000 meters and with this little, this little whatever it's called, 
it's going even higher. So see you at the grottoes. Uh, I finally, finally found something I can eat. It's fried bread or fried potato and tofu. So it's 20 yuan for a portion with uh, some spices as well. I had low expectations. The photograph looked like it was just a small piece, but look at this. And you can look at it. All the scallions, the garlic, the chili oil. I'm so happy with the choice. So, so happy. Let's talk in, let's go check out the grottos and uh, see what they're like. Mm. That ended up being one of the spiciest things I've ever eaten. <laughs> I thought it was cumin, it wasn't cumin. It wasn't cumin at all. It was chili, it was absolutely doused in chili. My tongue is gone. No use for it now. That's it, just cut it off. I didn't have a drink either. I didn't buy a drink for some reason. Saving the sense. <sighs> How big is this place? I thought this was going to be a short little video, but it's not. Okay, I think it's this way. I don't know how far we have to walk. Here's a really cool a viewpoint over the city of Kunming. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. The hills in the background where the Mongols came across and invaded. The ancient city down there, defending for as long as they could. But eventually succumbing to the Mongol army. What is it? Caution slicing not to fall. All right. Oh no, these are steep. What? All right, they weren't joking. <laughs> that was actually a warning sign for a reason. These are very steep. Look, look at that. Look. Whole foot, half foot. No consistency. I'm wobbling all over the place too. A foreigner. Look at the foreigner. He can't walk down steps. And here it is, the the Dragon Gate. Looks like everyone over here is touching that. To say they've been here, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I know the amount of people that wash their hands in the bathrooms here. And it's close to zero. So I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to be claustrophobic here as well. This is... There's so many people crammed into the one little space. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like you filming inside, so they have in each one of them, each one of the grottos, they have somebody sitting there and if you try to take a photo or a video, they, they give out to you. These tunnels get very, very small. <laughs> they feel like something from one of the old, old medieval European castles. It's funny the superstitions that start. It looks like a relatively new statue of a pig or something. And everybody's rubbing it for what must be good luck, I'm assuming. But it's funny, it's brand new, it looks brand new. Like in the last 20 years or something. And uh, yeah, maybe it's the place that it's in, it's just a holy place. And there you are, the Dragon Gate from Kunming. 
Is it worth it? It's definitely not as straightforward as just getting the cable car up and expecting to be there. There is a lot of walking. There's a lot of walking in these steps and up hills, which is exactly where I have to go now to get back to the cable car. But I'm gonna save you all that. It's boring, but for me, I have to go up this way here and actually back through the grottos. So, from Kunming, from the Dragon Gate, and from these steps. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.